This is Dave Mosher, Products Editor for Popular Science. And today we're gonna to be building a self-powered holiday light using some tape, LEDs, pennies, lemon juice, and cardboard. So what's a battery? Well, most of them are just stored potential energy in the form of a chemical reaction. Even those little uh, triple and double A batteries you get. Uh, the cool thing about pennies is that they're mostly zinc covered by a thin shell of copper. Now that's, zinc is a good anode material and copper is a good cathode material. So if we add a little bit of acid, we have some chemical reaction going on. And if we stack these up, we get a lot of voltage, a little bit of current, and we can use that energy to power a tiny little LED. So the first thing we're gonna do is sand off the tail side of about eight pennies. Five works, 10 is best, but eight is a good number. So let's start, start there. So a belt sander will do this really quickly. You gotta stick the pennies to the table, but if you don't have a belt sander, but you have a piece of wood, some sandpaper, and some duct tape, you're all set. And let me show you how to build this impromptu belt sander. First, you gotta rip this in half here, and then you gotta tape it to the wood. It's not that complicated, but it works like a charm. So the next thing you wanna do is you gotta tape this penny, each of them, to the table. Now you're gonna get some sticky goop on the sides. So you're gonna have to wash them after the step is done but basically you place it like so onto the table, get it nice and sticky, put the tail or the head side down and just start going to town. So through the magic of video editing, I spared you all the time that it took to sand off the backs of these pennies. And you can see the zinc is nice and exposed there, a uh, nice silvery color. On the other side is the copper. And what we're gonna do now is cut open this lemon, squeeze out the juice and get us some acid for a chemical reaction. Doesn't matter if the seeds are in there. All you want is the juice though. Now at this point, what you wanna do, is you wanna size the penny to the size of the cardboard. You don't want it extending beyond the penny because then you can have like a mini short going on. It needs to be slightly smaller or exactly the size of the penny. And then we're gonna just dunk those in lemon juice for a little bit. That's about the size you're looking for. Again, penny size and just toss it in there until you've got seven of these guys. All right, so now we've got seven little cardboard discs, just slightly smaller than a penny, and they've been soaking up lemon juice and the acid that we need to drive this reaction. And uh, what we're gonna start with is a penny, put it zinc side down, copper side up, and a little napkin helps if you got one. And you're gonna take one of these uh, little cardboard discs at a time, make sure they're square, they'll probably fall apart a little bit in the acid, and just put it right on top there. And then what you're gonna do just put another one, zinc side down, right on top of that. All right, so here goes the last piece of cardboard. Again, zinc side down, you want to end copper up. And this is what you're looking for. Stack of pennies with seven pieces of cardboard, one between each uh, penny. And you'll notice that the cardboard isn't really sticking out at all on the edges. That's, that's what you want. Because if it's touching another battery, you're going to lose a little bit of uh, current uh, going through the whole stack. And you want to make, make sure you stack all that potential difference up and uh, get a good current. So that's the penny battery. Now, the thing is, this is gonna dry out if we leave it like this, and that'll stop the reaction and kill your battery. Um, and that'll happen well before you run out of acid, which is in the lemon juice. So we gotta tape this up, keep it airtight, and then we can attach a light to it. So we've got some good old electrical tape here, and that'll make a nice airtight seal. And I just start off with like maybe a five or four or five inch piece here, just like that. Actually helps have two hands with this, but try and dry off the edges of the, the pennies so it'll stick. Just kind of wrap it around just like that. All right, so we'll see what kind of juice I'm getting out of this little battery. I got my voltmeter here. I'm gonna touch the ends here. I'm actually getting about three and a half volts, which is pretty good. I mean, that's more than two AA or AAA batteries stacked on top of one another. Uh, it's pretty good uh, potential difference. And if we check the current, it should be enough to drive a little LED. Actually, it's more current than I was expecting, so I'm gonna turn up the notch here. And we're getting just about a milliamp of current out of this. And that should be enough to drive at least one LED, if not two. These are the small guys. So I have a little, uh, little green one here, and I've got a little red one, and I also have a little white one. You can use any of these, but you want the smaller ones, the three millimeter LEDs, because those are, uh, high efficiency and they'll be able to work on this battery. So let's take the red one. And I'm gonna put the 
one end on top of the other, and there we go. We've got a little uh, electricity there. So we're going to turn the lights off so you can see this is actually working. Check it out. Oh.